Marriage exists in all human societies and cultures. Even so the first humans. It's not a purely biological thing, marriage. It's a cultural institution right. laid atop the biological reality of pair bonding. Mm -hmm. When did pair bonding start? Well, pair bonding certainly started with the first humans, but a lot of people would say that it started long before that with the Australopithecines, actually. Okay. You're saying and they were pair bonding even birds. at that point. That's a scientifically controversial thing to say because okay. some people would disagree with it. Right. But there are people who think that pair bonding dates that far back. They base it off of morphological evidence where we see that species species where there's high degrees of male multiple mating, we tend to see high sexual dimorphism. So think about gorillas. A male gorilla would be about twice the size of a female gorilla and much, much stronger. They also have these enormous canines and they have these incredible ridges on their skull. If you look at a gorilla skull, they've got this like mohawk of bone and that's just to hold their jaw muscles. Now, these guys are just eating plants all day. Why do they have those? It's not to eat meat. It's to fight each other or at least threaten to fight each other. So we see high degrees of sexual dimorphism in okay. species like gorillas where there's high degrees of male multiple mating. Look at humans by comparison. We do have sexual dimorphism as most sexually reproducing species do, at least in mammals, but it's much lower than our more apish ancestors. When does that sexual dimorphism start to reduce? Well, it reduces pretty sharply with the Australopithecines okay. where we see the males and the females. It's kind of hard to tell them apart. And so it's like, okay, well, if they were around the same size, maybe there wasn't so much multiple mating going on. Maybe there was a lot of romance.